Her message coming as we get ready for the start of summer, typically the most violent time of the year in the city. Some aldermen think changing the city's curfew will help, and today they got into a heated debate about that. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov was there, joins us now in our newsroom. Dana? Joe and Erica, the curfew change ultimately passed 30 to 19, but changing the curfew on Fridays and Saturdays for kids under 18 ignited some fierce debate from the minute the mayor proposed doing it. First, because she tried to change it without council approval. That's not allowed. And second, because opinions on either side are strong. Sometimes we had to be tough and say you have to be in the house at a certain time if you're not with a parent or guardian or responsible adult. Because sometimes that's what a parent does to make sure that his child can live to see tomorrow or the next day. All this is is reactive and a headline. Yes, I will continue. Thank you, Mayor. So if it was about proactive, we could have a meeting, a committee meeting in the first quarter to talk about what we're doing in the summer. The idea of changing the weekend curfew to 10 p.m. was sparked in part by a large crowd of young people that converged near the Bean in Millennium Park a few weeks ago. An earlier fight led to a 16-year-old boy getting shot and killed. And later that night, mobs of teens and young adults also attacked people in their cars as they were driving through parts of the South Loop. That's when the call to do more got really loud. The curfew? It ain't gonna kill no one. What's, what's the problem? Curfew is not gonna kill the kids. But this is just saying, I dare you. I dare you to break another rule. Let's put up fences around Millennium Park. I dare you to jump that fence. Like, it's ineffective. Again, this means people under 18 cannot be out past 10 p.m. seven days a week now. This is happening in conjunction with the mayor's recent directive that no one under 18 is allowed in Millennium Park after 6 p.m. Thursday through Sunday without an adult. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe? Dana, thanks. A heated day at City Council.